Oof, damn it. I was legit excited, I was hyped to get into this video. My intro was like this, basically. I was plan I was planning in my head for the intro, it's like, oh shit, oh yes, Grammy, Grammy time finally arrived, the nominations are here, I'm so excited because, you know, uh, at least Grammy doesn't fail us in nominations. The nominations are at least uh, usually good uh, for every year, but then they fuck, it, they fuck us up with the winners, of course, in the Grammy night. <laughs> But, at least, you know, when the nominations come in and you get legit excited, oh damn, like what, you, uh, what I have been listening to, at least it's here, it's presented here, it makes sense, uh, and like there are not great nominations like uh, best uh, pop album, best hip hop album, you know, the, the best overall album of the year, and like uh, top songs, you know, the uh, best artist of the year, like nominations like that, and it's just, I don't know, I get excited, you know, and a lot of people are uh, excited about Grammys every, every year, despite the fact they always leave disappointed. <laughs> but, you know, I, I was excited as I said, but the reason is I'm not really that excited is because I actually watched uh, a heartbreaking video um, before coming into this video. Uh, bro, like... There, there's a channel called ARTV. Uh, you might know him actually because you know I'm in a similar field uh, as him. Uh, he's also, uh, you know, music reviewer. He reacts. I uh, know he doesn't react actually. I'm sorry, but uh, he reviews albums, you know, singles. Uh, he does much more actually. He has two channels, ARTV and Beyond ARTV. And uh, this person's name is John. And right now, John needs financial support. Um, literally, like, I've been in a similar situation, um, I, like, my YouTube channel was shut down in 2017, um, there was, there was a period, one month period, from April to May, when I literally had no access over my own channel, because I got three copyright strikes, uh, and I got banned, um, basically I was fighting behind the doors, and to actually... Um, get my channel back and so I understand completely you know the fight with the copyright claims and stuff like that and it always it was uh, pain in the ass and right now John is experiencing the same thing no he like his channel was not shut down but uh, due to the fact that YouTube is his full-time job uh, and like there was so many copyright claims these days um, on over his videos that you know he lost uh, like almost all of his revenue like the December uh, is not you know seems seems it doesn't seem bright basically the December doesn't seem bright for him financially and uh, right now it's like <laughs> pretty much the, you need the money for like the most like you need to buy presents uh, it's a you know, fucking holiday season you need to be happy you need to be uh, satisfied with your life but this YouTube of course needs to fuck up your life like that so um right now ARTV you know is experiencing hard times please uh support this channel i i know that i have a small following it's kind of weird that i'm kind of uh trying to ask you <laughs> to help this bigger channel but i believe that um you know with the power of youtube with the power of the community actually fuck the power of youtube i'm talking about the power of community uh behind creators you know like it's legit and even though i'm a small creator i can be part of something good this year as well at least like that's youtube rewind claimed <laughs> this year like with, when superwoman was um announcing that and like that video was legit a little bit cringy but <laughs> then never, nevertheless <laughs> Just subscribe, uh, subscribe, sorry, support, support ARTV. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm maybe like smiling right now. It's, it's actually um, pretty fucked up situation. Please uh, donate on his Patreon. Um, like support this dude financially uh, with what you can. Maybe share his content so that more people see. And uh, yes, let's just support this guy. I, I will put the link in the description below uh, to the video, which actually in which John is talking about the situation but please uh, watch this video and consider donating some money uh, towards this guy because John definitely deserves it. okay 
so we are here <laughs> damn um i'm actually i'm actually still excited <laughs> to see i actually um saw over here um that you know some t like some big tiles over here i discovered that taylor Swift has only one uh nominee actually like best pop vocal album reputation i was surprised because i thought there will be more oh damn like they're already spoiling for me shallow uh so <laughs> um i'm pretty i'm actually pretty glad but uh, that taylor swift um only got one uh nominee and that's on, like uh i mean best pop vocal album is still a big big nomination but i'm pretty surprised that there's only one because i was expecting more uh because it's taylor swift you know he's big like one of the biggest artists plus uh, I was I was expecting a lot of Drake to get a lot of Drake and we apparently we do have a lot of Drake we have uh, seven nominations for Drake oh wait a second Brandy Carlisle um, she had actually a good album I, I think they showed the cover over here uh, she had a good album I was listening to that I'm, I didn't know that they gonna nominate uh, Brandy Carlisle where is she okay she gotta be here somewhere after this probably yes brandy carla look uh, that album was pretty good but for me that was so obscure i thought you know grammy doesn't even know <laughs> about this artist but she earned six uh nominees uh making carla the most nominated woman at the 2019 grammys that's pretty interesting i didn't expect this that's pretty su super surprising cardi b Charles Gambino, her, her Lady Gaga, Marin Morris, producer Soundwave, and master engineer Mike Bozzi follow with five nods. Uh, okay, so general field, record of the year. All right, so okay, of course we have I Like It featuring uh, Bad Bunny and J Balvin by Cardi B. Yes, good record, good record. Um, Should have been here. No, no surprise. The joke. Uh, Brandy Carlisle. Now I've listened to the album so long ago, I don't really n remember how even it sounded like. I mean, the, I remember the style, but like for example, the joke, I don't remember how this song um, it was sounding. But I I know that that was something good because that album was pretty pretty dope. Bro, I just listened to Brandy Carlisle's album once again. It just refreshed uh, my memory with how beautiful this album is just look i just started this song pretty much the first track every time i hear that song i remember uh i when i heard this album actually i got goosebumps because how adorable it is and uh this nominees uh, nominations are very well deserved actually look like it's already starting much better much more human Alright, I cannot play more because of the copyright claims we talked about in the beginning of the video, but bro, like it's... Oh my god, I just remember how good this album is. I forgot to say, much more human than most of the other nominations. <laughs> it was pretty dope, I actually forgot about it, I need to add it to my uh, lists now, I'm thinking about it, like I'm doing the bad albums, the good albums lists, and yeah, um, I need to re-listen to the album. Uh, this is America, Childish Gambino, of course, of course, yes, that's good. God's Plan, I mean, good song, and you know that I'm a fan of Drake, but the th at the same time, um, I had a really complicated relationship with Drake this year, and uh, because uh, that was the first year I was really, like, Drake had a, um, so Drake sort of uh, let, me, let me down. Not even like musically, even though musically it was a decline, but in terms of his personality, I thought he's better than what I've witnessed. Um, and Pusha D, uh, Pusha D, <laughs> I'm making a lot of mistakes. I'm sorry. Pusha T um, revealed a lot of uh, lies and um, you know revelations uh, behind this uh, dude's life. It wasn't something. Um, exciting <laughs> to watch shallow no, okay um i get I, i've never watched star is born yet i'm not a big movie dude i guess uh i i I'm, it's hard for me to catch up with um the movies i even actually 
didn't watch The Greatest Showman. I did watch Fantastic Beasts 2 because, you know, that's a fucking Harry Potter universe. How can you, <laughs> how can you skip that? But yeah, I haven't watched The Greatest Showman. I need to watch that uh, for sure. Um, I need to watch Star is Born. So Shallow as a song, it's separately. I wasn't really a big fan of it, but I did see, of course, um, the appeal. <laughs> Uh, and I love Lady Gaga. Don't get me wrong. I, I, and I like Brady Cooper as an art, uh, as an artist, <laughs> as an actor. So of course, uh, why not? Why not? Shallow. All the stars. <laughs> good. Good job. Of course. Uh, Black Panther. Great movie. Um, really enjoyed the um, the soundtrack actually too. Rockstar. Uh, wait. Oh damn. Rockstar. Oh damn. Okay, I thought I forgot. I thought Rockstar was last year. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I I lo I'm not a big fan. I do like it now. It, it grew on me after like all the hype after everybody listened to it gazillion times. I actually um I like that song grew to me. But still, um not not really happy with Rockstar. But I, w I will say it's a really big contender it actually can get this nominee for the record of the year because Rockstar was so so big so so big but I'm not sure if they will give it to Rockstar but it's a big huge contender to win it. huge contender every song can win actually uh, besides the joke in my opinion be the only uh, only because the joke um, doesn't have this mainstream success behind it. The middle, oh please, please, just let's, let's move on. <laughs> not, not a, not a fan of that song. Category two, album of the year. Hold on, let me just check, uh, see my face again. Okay, it's recording, right? Still recording. Still no pauses. All right, cool. Seven minutes in. Um, it's gonna be a long video, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> album of the year. Cardi B, Invasion of Privacy. Um. All right. All right. Yes. Okay. Brandy Carlisle. Uh. Yet again. Sc album of the year. Uh. Her. Her. Holy fuck. Album of the year. Her. That's real. Really surprising. She's a great vocalist. She's a great. A great songwriter. She has nice vocals. Good for her. I didn't expect it. But why not? Okay. All right. Uh, there are a lot of I'm seeing okay I'm seeing b wrongs and balance all right okay uh, not a fan of the album but um, you know post Malone is very huge I understand why it's, he's here Janelle Monet <laughs> I think I'm gonna be rooting for it's Janelle Monet dirty computer because I love that record one of my favorite records of the year um, so you can expect it on my best albums of 2000 18 uh, list their computer yeah actually um for me the biggest albums like for me the like best albums out of this list i know there's a okay K uh, let's finish it casey musgraves it's a country i don't listen to country unfortunately uh so you no know, for me black panther yes but i'm i'm actually surprised that black panther even made into the album of the year um it's a good it's a great album but I'm still kind of shocked that you know, the soundtrack is making the list of best albums of the year. Probably just because of the Kendrick, Kendrick's name. Um, but Dirty Computer and Invasion of Privacy, I will be rooting for one of those. Uh, we'll be really excited if Dirty Computer will win, but I'm, I'm sure that she won't. Just because, you know, if we're talking about the, the Grammys is about, again, the numbers, um, what has been the most uh, played record of the year and stuff like that. And um, yes, I, I do appreciate that, you know, um, at least in the nominations, they give uh, credit to the actual great art. Uh, Dirty Computer was a great art. Uh, and last year, we remember how Melodrama was in nominations uh, like best album of the year album of the year right but um, they end up only being in nominations but who wins is usually the most like played uh, record or um, even like 
I don't know like sometimes the choices are weird really weird just again the Bruno Mars uh, record 24k magic one of the least um, you know favorite of mine uh, from 2017 Grammy list but somehow it won the album Bruno Mars is a great artist but like seriously album of the year 24k magic when there was damn 444 melodrama uh, and uh, Challenge gonna be in this record Awaken My Love seriously like 24k magic over those albums I highly doubt it I don't know why like I think I honestly think like uh, Grammy Academy like they actually choose like by themselves like oh okay we'll just choose um, what appeals to us the most or like what is the safest record like there are yeah like the mixture of these things like they okay they concentrate on that and they just give out this um a whole one um i'm not sure i i don't think that um they are considering uh people's votes and so it's again <laughs> when it comes to the actual winners it, it's a nightmare <laughs> it's honestly a nightmare uh like usually they do wrong they go wrong but uh, at least nominations they last year actually they were really great I was entirely satisfied with the nominations last year it was great uh, all the albums I was listening to I thought that they are great you know they end all end up being there this year uh, I I'm familiar with almost all of the records out here but like there were better albums than there were better albums like so literally like Scorpion not a great album not a great album it's really average beer bongs and bandless I do understand it's just not my taste but I do understand it I do understand why it's here I do understand it Dirty Computer Invasion of Privacy okay um, her I I don't know honestly uh, I don't know how she ended up getting record of the uh, album of the year nomination. Not uh, not a bad album. Pretty good album. Pretty good album. Pretty good album. I'm just really shocked. And by Brandy Carlisle as well. Like I'm pretty shocked that these people got um, chosen. But um, there were a lot of good albums this year, and they didn't get nominations. Uh, we're talking about the Kali Uchis, we're talking about Kitsy Ghosts, we're talking about Astro World. By the way, where's Astro World? I just I just discovered there's no Astro World. What? <laughs> there's no trench by Twenty One Pilots. There's no um the weekend my dear melancholy. Uh I'm literally looking at my uh, <laughs> albums that I admired this year. Uh Ariana Grande. Sweetener, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Huh? Where is that? We have uh, freaking like a lot of other albums, like good, good ass albums this year. A lot of great material this year. During 2018, one of the best um, years for music. No over exaggeration. One of the best musics ever one of the best years for music ever but we see this we see scorpion we see beer bombs and manlies uh, we see black panther like as if like there weren't like other like solo albums like this is just a soundtrack just keep in mind that this is a soundtrack and i do have a problem with that a little bit um, of being known as album of the year <sighs> all right well, I'm not satisfied even with nominations this year <laughs> so far, honestly. Uh, the song of the year, uh, da -da -da, all the stars. Okay, "Boot Up" by LMA. Okay, all right. God's plan in my blood by Shawn Mendes. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, glad to see. By the way, Shawn Mendes album, huh? Where is Shawn Mendes album in the nominations, huh? That was freaking dope. Camila, Camila Cabello's album was pretty dope too. J Bobbins Webris was pretty dope album too. Not here. Not in here at all. Disappointed. Very disappointed. 
uh, the joke, Brandy Carla. I I don't understand. Like, the, um, how, why? Or like, I mean, again, like, I'm pleasantly surprised, but damn, like six nominations by Brandy Carlisle. And like, honestly, like by just looking at this track, The Middle by Zed, I like Zed's music. Um, no, I actually, I, no, I, I would be a liar if I called it. I like Zed's music, but I do respect his, um, there are, there were legit good tracks by Zed I was listening to back in the day, but, um, this is not, this is not, this is not Grammy material song, like literally like the middle is as generic as it gets, it's, it's one of the most generic songs, one of the most shallow songs that I've ever heard this year, oh, oh boy, like that, that's not good, that's a no-no for me, the middle, like just appearing, like, we had so much, again, I, I will exaggerate this so much great music this year so many great albums so many good songs and when I will be publishing my uh, you know good albums like best albums good songs best songs lists you know like um, you will see how much great music there was I just I can't talk I cannot uh, remind myself by uh, like from top of my head but there was so much good music bro why is this this song middle like fucks up my brain bro like, why is it here and this is America is here that's good at least this is America made it at least this is America is uh, made it um, shallow Oh, okay, Shallow, why not? Why not Shallow? Why not? It's a good song. So, um, best new artist. Alright, this is, I'm kind of ex interested. Luke Combs, Chloe and Hal, uh, Great, Great One Fleet, her Dua Lipa. Wait, what did they say? What do you mean by track from Dua Lipa? Uh, anyway, that's cool. Uh, I'll be rooting for Dua. Oh, BB and Georgia Smith is here. I don't know Margo Pri who Margot Price is though, but. BB is here. Georgia is nominated. Um, I'm very uh, happy for uh, these people. Very happy for this um, the females. BB and Georgia, they are, are like both really gorgeous. But uh, my favorite is uh, Dua Lipa. Absolutely killed it um, to, into 2017 and 2018. Absolutely killed it. Dua Lipa, one of the biggest stars. Like just. Uh, quickly like this in two years she became so popular and she deserves it she definitely deserves it her music is great she is great I, I will be rooting for Dua Lipa um, but Georgia and BB like I wouldn't mind if they will win because they're so adorable as well as like their music is good so why not best pop solo performance <laughs> okay let's see back colors Oh, it's a performance. So for new vocal or instrumental pop recordings. Okay, so okay, I see, I'm seeing the list. There's Camila Cabello, um, Havana, God is a Woman, great. Uh, why God is a Woman is not over there? Why God is a Woman? Why Ariana Ariana Grande is not here? What what the hell? Ariana Grande had a big 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 year. Her music was so good not on song of the year not on the album of the year not on the pop album of the year not even on the pop album of the year oh wait a minute we didn't get into that actually not on the record of the year even i'm really disappointed by that um back i like back and colors is a good song havana but i'm i'm, I'm really <laughs> like colors was wait it was from 2017, huh? Okay, then then it makes sense. Um, Joanne, wait, Joanne, Lady Gaga, but that was like two years ago. Uh, I mean, I love Lady Gaga, one of my favorite artists of all time. But um, it, it might not seem like it. <laughs> the way, by the way, I'm uh, reacting to Lady Gaga's nomination, but like, like. Joanne 
it was released two years ago so I'm not sure what it's doing here better now by Post Malone okay yeah it's, it's a good song it's a good song uh, good track category six but look like I again I will be publishing my list like and you will see you will witness actually great music this is like a lot of snaps I'm already seeing a lot of snaps could have been better much better lists could have been um, here and I I'm not I'm not really excited by by this list honestly like this is not that good it's not that good um, okay what do we have next um, best new artist best pop solo best pop duo group performance oh fall in line <laughs> Christina Gellar featuring Demi Lovato all right that's yeah that's actually that was a really great performance and um, John Bellin fans out there if you're watching me uh, like John Bellin wrote the song John Bellin wrote the song gave it to Aguilera and <laughs> it's nominated by the Grammys that's that's awesome that's really awesome Backstreet Boys don't go breaking my heart I mean it's not a bad song but come on like best performance oh so uh, if we're talking about performances why the weekend is not here huh best performance the weekend is not here why he's not here why he is not here the weekend the weekend is not here Tony Bennett Diana Krall okay top I mean um, I'm not gonna you know I, I've, I didn't even hear the song so I'm not gonna even complain but uh, and Tony Bennett and Diana Krall respectful artists it must be a good song must be a good song actually um, shallow okay girls like you I mean, it's a good song. It's a good, actually a good song. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hate on it, but yeah, <laughs> it's very basic. It's a really basic nomination. Um, Say something by Justin. I'm happy for Justin, please. Justin Timberlake got it. Okay, and the fucking middle, fucking middle. I'm like, it gives me cancer every time. I'm, I'm ready to fucking close this tab just like by looking at the middle. Like the middle in nominations. Like, come on, like. Seriously, this these people <laughs> needs to listen to some more quality music before they fucking nominate the middle every time they fucking possibly can. <sighs> Gives me cancer. This fucking middle track. All right, category seven: best traditional pop vocal album. Love is here to stay. Tony Bennett and Diana Krall. Okay, Willie Nelson, My Way. I actually don't know about this record. Uh, Gregory Porter, Nat King calling me. Uh, Gregory Porter is nice vocals. I, to be honest, didn't listen to this album as well. Uh, so best tradition pop vocal album. Three albums, three out of three. Haven't heard any of them <laughs> yet. But I do. I do know Tony Bennett. I do know Gregory Porter. Good artist. Pretty good artist. Seal and wait. Seal and Barbara Streisand. Okay, but best traditional pop vocal album is a different than the best pop album it's hopefully it is okay best pop vocal album okay here it is here it is fucking fucking um, Camila Cabello I will be finally I mean a sweetener uh, Shawn Mendes Kelly Clarkson meaning of life is I mean um, I haven't heard that record but Kelly Clarkson is also a good uh, artist so why not so, but my favorites my favorites yeah this, we needed to see more of this on the Grammy lists. Why this is not praised, I don't know. These albums are great. Beautiful trauma, okay, okay, yeah, why not? And reputation. Uh, that's the only <laughs> uh, nominee um, Taylor Swift got. And uh, that's pretty surprising. I thought she would be getting much more, even though I'm happy that she. I, I think I said it before already, but. Um, I'm happy that Repetition didn't get much nominees because, but I wouldn't be surprised because these nominations are pretty cancerous. Um, so I and again, like I, 
you know me like I'm a pretty optimistic guy I don't like I usually not about to hate it just like literally like could be much better this list could be much better um, and since I care about music a lot that's just uh, hard to take but oh disclosure my guys electricity okay 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 best dance recording all right I'm, that's awesome and above and beyond is also a pretty good um band uh, but if disclosure <laughs> win oh man okay at least like this grammy it's kind of like gave me a little bit uh, of satisfaction uh, by nominating but yeah like if they will win I'm I will be happy as shit like cause disclosure these are my guys this this is the fucking fucking EDM well not they're not even EDM but this is the club music you would listen to like check out disclosure I'm telling you check out disclosure you will not be disappointed this is a good music this is a good music right here and electricity I re uh, reacted this um good song you need to check it out Dua Lipa my babe uh, Diplo Mark Ronson good and fucking Mark Ronson by the way like nothing breaks my heart oh nothing breaks like a heart but my Cyrus just dropped recently and it's a beautiful record songs like that should be nominated to Grammys but what we have category 10 best dance electronic album let me see uh, how I'm doing on time um, da -da 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 -da. okay wow 27 minutes I'm sorry I'm so sorry, sorry all right okay let's uh, let's go through the list pretty fast then it's every instrumental album we don't care uh, best rock performance I'm not big on rock all right Arctic monkeys we don't feel okay best metal performance da -da -da -da. best rock song uh, oh jumpsuit was nominated okay that's cool I'm, I'm rooting for jumpsuit of course um, best rock album Fall Out Boy is here, okay cool uh, I guess I'll root for Fall Out Boy even though I'm not a huge fan um, Best Alternative Music Album Oh, back my boy and St. Vincent Mass Seduction Arctic Monkeys is on here Bjork is here? Wow Actually this is pretty good This is pretty good feel What is this again? Best Alternative Music Album? Yeah, these three albums These three albums I wouldn't be disappointed. Uh, Mass Seduction and Colors, they were both on my um, best uh, albums of the 2017 list last year. Uh, best R&B Performance, The Car... <laughs> my God. Beyonce and Jay-Z Summer, okay. Best Part, oh, 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 such a good track. This should win. If this is not winning, I will be hella disappointed. But I'm really disappointed. <laughs> Ooh, bet ain't worth the hands. Best traditional R&B performance. Um, and I'm, as I'm looking, I don't know other songs. This song should win. <laughs> no, this song is so freaking good. You guys should check it out if you haven't. Leon Bridges is my guy. Oh my god, this this song, this person can sing so well. His voice is angelic. I'm sorry. Hold on. Whoa. Holy fuck. I'm gonna go fast. I'm sorry. I was. I was really slacking, huh? Um, da -da 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 -da. Best R&B song, boot up, come through and chill. J Cole and Miguel. Oh damn, I screamed like a, like I already I heard echo. <laughs> J Cole and okay, that's a good song. Uh, boot up is is okay song too, uh, but I was listening to it much. Um, let me see. Okay, um, but we have feels like summer. Probably I've been. I've been playing this song the most, to be honest, and I would like, I would like, it feels like summer by Challenge you can be in it to win, actually. Uh, even though like the focus is not bad, either. Uh, yeah, but okay, I, I'm J Cole got a nomination. Come through and chill, that's cool. Um, with Miguel, best urban contemporary album, The Carters. Warren Leisure. Warren Leisure should win. <laughs> the next, uh, best in R and B album. Uh, Sex and Cigarettes. Tony Braxton. That's cool. Good thing by Leon Bridges. I give it. I need to like give it like a full listen. I know some tracks by Good Thing, 
but I haven't heard the full album. Her, her. Uh, since it was nominated as the best like uh, album of the year, uh, her will win this one for sure. But I personally will. Uh, I I don't mind it at all. Her, her is a great artist, um, and I'll be happy for her. But I'll be even more happier if Good Thing won. Even though I haven't heard, but just, I just how Leon Bridges sing, and how he approaches to the like the songs, the melody is so freaking beautiful. Best rap performance. Okay, this is interesting. Interesting. This is my field. <laughs> Best rap performance. Be okay, I was literally slammed by that track already. Like, just why? Be careful. That's not even the best track on the album. It is one of the worst tracks on the album. Oh my god. Imagine of Privacy is a good album. It's a great album actually. It's gonna be in my best um, albums of the year list. But be careful, like seriously, like one of the worst songs on that album. And it's here. Nice for what? Of course we're gonna get Drake. Um King's Dead. I, I actually sicko mode. All right, Astro is fucking finally here, at least here. Um, for me, it's even. Uh, I mean, Anderson Park. I love the record by Anderson Park, but Bubbling was not a great song. His album was great, but Bubbling was not on there, and I'm not a fan of Bubbling to be honest. But King's Dead and sicko mode. I honestly don't know to who to win, but I will be satisfied. If one of those will win, King's Dead, Sicko Mode, absolute favorites uh, for me uh, in the rap field from this year. Uh, category 23 best rap and uh, rap and sound performance. Like I do, uh, no, 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 no. Christina Aguilera should not be in the best rap song performance. Why is she here? Um, Pretty Little Fierce, Black Fish and J. Cole. Okay, okay, all right. That's a good track. This is America. Charles Gambino, Rockstar, All Stars. Personally, this is America, hands down. This is America should win. Um, best rap song. Okay, God's Plan, King's Dead, Lucky You, by Eminem is in here. <laughs> oh, we have Win by um, Kendrick and uh, J Rock. Uh, that's pretty surprising. Win. Uh, I mean, it's a good track, but not not a favorite. Um, God's Plan, okay this is a big song, these are pretty big songs for me, I like them all, God's Plan, King's Dead, Like You by Eminem, personally would love if Eminem would win, honestly I would love the fact if Eminem would get this uh, award, but you know, I, I wouldn't mind, like like I would mind if God's Plan will win to be honest, because I, I don't know why, but I'm like Drake has so much success that he wouldn't mind losing the Grammy. Like I would give to people that didn't win Grammy yet. And King's Dead. I mean Kendrick won a lot of Grammys actually too. Eminem won a lot of Grammys too. <laughs> the only person who didn't win is Travis actually. But Drake is on there. Um, so I actually wouldn't mind to choose Sycamore, mode, but like you, as Eminem fan. I really want like you, but again, okay. So four songs, they're all good. I wouldn't mind. Okay, good, good nominations. All right, for best rap song, good nominations. Okay, hold on. Like, look, um, damn, thirty-four minutes. Fuck. All right, <laughs> uh, in three minutes I'll be over. I'll try, I promise. Best rap album, swimming is on here. That's cool. Daytona, Astro World, Nipsey Hustle. Like, why are we wasting? A nomination on Nipsey Hustle. I don't know. Invasion of Privacy. Invasion of Privacy will probably win, uh, and that's gonna be sad. But I would love if Astro World will win because Astro World deserves it. Honestly, Astro World deserves it. Um, Daytona is a good album too. Swimming is good. Uh, not really for me. Um, wasn't really. Um, you know. It wasn't really my taste, but I, but it's a good album. It's still a good album. And rest in peace, my family. Um, country, okay. Um, Chris Staples should win. <laughs> I know why, but he should. Alrighty, all right, we are done. I promise. Now, <laughs> uh, hit the like button if you like this video. If you enjoyed, uh, please hit the like, and let me know in the comments below what 
would you rather have uh, instead of those nominations uh, if you are not happy with these nominations if you're happy with these nominations please let me know as well let's see how many people are there uh, actually really happy with these nominations um, but uh, I already voiced my opinion on what should have been here um, I actually no I actually didn't voice my opinion <laughs> really uh, but I will be um, doing that by pretty much uh, showing what I liked from this year um, and yes I of course the presented songs they're not bad of course they're good it's just I, I think there are a lot of lot of good albums and songs that were that deserves a little bit more than what has been presented in here most of the time not all the time best rap song I dig it uh, all four nominations were pretty good um, all right so subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next ones goodbye